What's up guys, John here from Titan, and we are here to help you feel better, look better, and perform better on a daily basis. That's right, Titan Medical Center can help you lose that weight, gain that lean muscle mass, and feel better mentally, physically, and sexually. Titan Medical Center services nationwide, so it's at your convenience. And we offer everything for males and females in home replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin acid injectable therapies, peptide therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, blood work, and a lot, lot more. So if you wanna become part of the Titan family, then you need to call or text us today, 727-389-3220, and check out all of our cool therapies and a lot more cool content at titanmedicalcenter.com. Thanks, guys. Semi-glutide. What can you expect by taking semi-glutide? Well, you can expect for weight loss, controlling blood sugar levels, but you should also expect to get into a healthy lifestyle. What do I mean by that? So when you're on semi-glutide, of course, when you're utilizing this medication, it's going to help curb that appetite, lower those blood sugar levels, like I said, but you need to get into healthy lifestyle habits. That means when you're on it, you can control your portions, your food sources better, and improve your activity level, because these things are gonna help expedite those weight loss results that you're ultimately looking for. And if you're looking to get off semi-glutide, you're gonna to have to get into these lifestyle habits anyway, because if you don't, of course you're gonna gain back the weight because you aren't gonna have the medication as a crutch helping you utilize this fat loss process of curbing your appetite and lowering blood sugar levels. So do the right thing. Get into the lifestyle habits, the healthy lifestyle habits now for a better quality of life for yourself and to improve your health for the future that's what it's all about guys living the best quality of life you possibly can and having the best future you possibly can so take my advice on this use semi-glutide as a tool get into those lifestyle habits choose those food sources portion control and get that activity in guys it's only benefiting you this is the tight lifestyle and i live it every single day and i want you to too What's going on you all? My name is Jason Page. For those of you in the Tampa area, I go by Poppy Page. Um, my job is a crazy lifestyle. I'm in the promotion field and I run events all week. Um, it's a lot of running around, a lot of here and there, there and here, consistently in my phone. And pretty much I needed to come and find something that can help me, give me the energy that I needed to stay consistent with work. Mm. I felt okay. Um, I felt better before. My, Like I said, my energy was just not where it should have been. Um, 
trying to work out I was able to finish the workout but I wasn't able to push myself like how I used to do before things got crazy after the pandemic everything closed staying in the house was kind of a hard thing to do working out at home sounds like it would be easy but when you have snacks and everything around nowhere to go you can't leave your house things get kind of repetitive so uh, I decided to become a patient just for the fact of me hearing so many good things about Titan me knowing a lot of people that worked here at Titan and all the positive responses from people who are already a patient at Titan um, I said hey let's let's give it a shot I, I know how my body normally feels and my body feels off like I said coming out of everything we've been going through so reached out to John came over to Titan got introduced to my buddy art and you know did everything I needed to do got my blood work done they pretty much showed me what I needed to work on and and what was down and what was up and some things were down that I didn't think personally I I didn't think they were down so the thing I needed really to enhance was probably my energy my energy and my focus uh, I noticed that since my energy was down my focus was kind of shifting everywhere and, and wasn't a good feeling so currently I take the ECA stack plus now this is like my miracle pill I take this in the morning with my uh, my tea and my shake what it does is it's a consistent release of, of caffeine or energy throughout the day there's no crash it, it helps in the process of me working out giving me that boost in the gym to where I don't take a pre-workout anymore because I don't need it and at the same time it helps me speed up my recovery and you see the gains the lean muscle that's what we do baby and uh, overall yeah it's just it's just it's exactly what I need Titan offers a lot of other therapies for an range of people but Specifically for me, I have a athletic frame and what I needed for me was just my boost of energy to help me get into the gym, help me get back going. And now it's, I'm consistently where I want to be. I feel good. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Um, these therapies just are set for people that specifically need things that they specifically need. If, if you want to feel better energy wise, they have something for that. If overall health wise you have something else going on they have something for that I feel great I'm able to I wake up at 5 30 a.m. in the morning I'm in the gym by 7 um, I start my day early I'm not cranky anymore it's always a one uh, shout out to my girl Meech <laughs> she always takes care of me she always makes sure that even if I forget to make a phone call to order my therapies for the next month I know that I'm getting that call from Titan to say hey mr. page time to put in for the next month yeah it bothers me if I don't have it not that I need it but I enjoy taking it because I know the benefits that I have from taking it and I would rather take it than to stop taking it so, so. beyond happy I'm, um, I'm grateful for Titan I appreciate them as a company as a whole for just helping people get to a point to where they're able to move how they once did I'm not an old man but I get so busy and so caught up when my energy is drained I'm kind of drained and this just kind of helps me get to the point to where I don't get too drained like I said in my lifestyle I'm all over I'm active I'm here I'm working out I'm there I'm dealing with a lot of people making sure that uh, business still gets conducted as it should but I feel better so my business is doing good and uh, tight and strong So guys, if I told you you can increase your mental clarity or enhance your mental focus and be laser focused when you want to, would you be interested in that? Because I get the question all the time, John, how do you do what you do every single day? I'm busy all day long. From when I get up in the morning at 6.30 in the morning all the way to about one o'clock in the morning. So I don't get a lot of sleep. I know I need to get more sleep, but I don't want my mental focus and clarity to suffer either. So. People ask me, what's the secret? And uh, it's one of my type medical center therapies, NAD. And NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine denucleotide. So it's a long tongue twisting thing, NAD for short, and that's what everybody knows it by. And NAD is a coenzyme. It's in every living cell of the body. It's great for cellular production, 
healing on the cellular level and energy production. But the big, big gift that you get from it is mental clarity and enhanced focus. So that's the biggest benefit that I get from it. And you get natural energy. It's not like a stimulant where you take a pill and you're like all jittery. You're just nice and clean and energized. And then you're lasered in on what's going on. I can't tell you how many times I've used it for different business meetings, events, or speaking events where I had to be on point. And then, like I said, I might've been traveling that day all day, sleeping on planes, or in my office, you never know where I'm gonna have to you know, do these speeches or do these events at, or at these different places out in the public. So I would definitely use NAD to increase all of that when I want to be mentally focused and laser focused in. And I think I'm a pretty smart guy without it, but it definitely increases and enhances what I'm doing. And it's real simple and easy. If you want more information, you can call or text us at 727-389-3220. And our medical staff will be happy to go over NAD, all the benefits and how it can help you and get you all signed up and ready to go. Just tell them John sent you. I'll see you guys later and I'll be talking about more therapies that I use that you can use to help enhance, increase, and improve your quality of life every single day. Thanks guys. Welcome guys to the Dyson Zone Unboxing. If you know Dyson, they make top of the line products, really superior products. Uh, from their fans, to their heaters, they have all different types of things. I mean, you even see blow dryers that are in, um, you know, maybe the restrooms that you're in, stuff like that, that are really, really cool. So let me uh, get this thing open first. I mean, these look really cush. All right, guys, so you see me earlier unbox this. I know it was in my, my get up. I had to relax so I can get a training session, so I did change. But uh, I finally got these things charged and um, I've got everything going so I could show you guys how exactly they work. So the filters, I never got to show you guys where the filters were at, I think in the last video. So when you undo these, the ear pieces, this is where the filters go, right? So all the air is coming in through your ears, really, through these filters, right? And then, you know, you can put these on, you start it up. Yep. So you got a power button, you can turn these on. Once you turn these on, at that point, you can connect the, uh, the, the piece that's gonna go across your face to purify the air. So let's get this bad boy on. So the next piece is gonna be the visor piece. Now this one's pretty easy to put in. Now it does, it's not supposed to touch your face at all. So you can adjust it like this. They go in and out on the sides. Okay, so you can't see my face. Wanna adjust these out? Awesome. Okay, so when you have these on, and of course I have my hat on, the air is going through the visor portion. Right? And you can adjust how fast through here, through the back. So it's coming through here. And there's different speeds. So you can feel it like up, or you can put on auto. And auto will automatically like put it where it thinks that you should be, depending on your environment around you. So it's not touching my mouth or my nose, but I'm not getting any air from anywhere else. It's just getting pushed through here, right? 
And let's say I want to talk to somebody. So you're not going to talk to somebody like this, right? Like, what are you doing? So you just do this like this and it comes down. You can talk. Noise cancellation goes off of the earphones so you can hear everything that's around you. But as soon as you don't want it, right back up, visor goes on, noise cancellation goes on, air starts hitting you, and now you're starting to breathe fresh air around you and see what's going on. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna get looked at when I walk to the airport or on an airplane with this, right? They're gonna think I'm like a transformer or something like that coming at them. But my air quality is gonna be on point and I'm gonna be breathing fresh, clean oxygen through my nose and through my mouth without even drying on my eyes. I thought on high end, the, the air would probably come up and, and probably hit my eyes, but it doesn't, it doesn't at all. It literally stays in this area. Dyson's came up with a great product. At that point, I'll be able to utilize this on the planes. And you know what, I don't care if anybody thinks I look stupid or not. I'm getting fresh air. I'll have my hat on probably, so you can't even see my eyes. So luckily I won't have to talk to nobody that I don't want to talk to. Maybe it's that uh, single serving friend that's next to you on the, the airplane that you don't want to talk to, right? And you know, you know what I'm talking about, like in a fight club, right? So at that point, I won't be able to talk to them. I don't have to. I'll put this on, breathe fresh air, listen to my music, and uh, kind of just relax and do what I'm doing. So that is the review for the Dyson Zone. Noise cancellation earphones, top quality sound, and air purification on the go, ready to go, whenever you need it and whenever you want it. So if you want to get one of these, you can order them right online. They are kind of pricey. They're like almost $1,000. So it is expensive, but will be worth your air quality when you're traveling on planes and stuff like that. We'll save you some, you know, some sick days. Maybe, so it might be worth it. So you guys can look into it and see if you want to purchase one for yourself. I'm going to utilize it, and I'll give you another review after I travel. I'm going to be traveling here in the next couple of weeks. I'll utilize it on the plane in real world scenarios so I can you know, speak on it you know, wisely on that and tell you guys what the real deal is, how it's been traveling with it, and such. So stay tuned for the next review of whatever gadget or toy or whatever I'm going to unbox next. But I want to bring this to you guys, to your attention, because there's cool stuff out there you might not know of. You might never know. But you guys want air quality, great sound, Dyson Zone's there for you guys. What's up guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. <laughs> Thank you guys for all tuning in. Support us week in and week out. We wanted to shout you guys out right in the beginning. Plus, thank you guys for all the messages and all the DMs, all the shout outs. All my people out there, wish me a happy 40th. I really appreciate it. Gonna make this year one he of my best. He loves being 40. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make it look good i promise oh, yeah. you guys he does he does so uh you know every week we like to give you guys some tips tricks to hopefully help your relationship future relationships maybe reignite those flames or just make things even better for you guys and every week we come up with a couple topics or maybe one single topic to go over mm -hmm. to give you guys some insight and these are some of the different things that maybe me and sharice have already encountered some of our friends or family members have encountered um, with troubles with their relationships and kind of asking us, you know, what should I do? Mm -hmm. So our topic for this week is don't mess up a good thing. Mm. Okay. And this just doesn't uh, go for relationships. This goes for everything. It could work. be yeah, work. I mean, it could be friendships. Yep. It could be anything. You know, you have this good thing. You know, maybe you, you come be complacent or you're like, oh, this is always going to be there. And then boom, pow, it's gone. And you're like, what happened? Like yesterday, like I had this thing and, and now it's gone. It's, it's just, it's not to be seen. So don't mess up a good thing. And we're going to give you a good example here. So one example is, is that we have two friends, okay? Both married, kids, okay? A nice, good relationship is what we thought. A life together. They're building a family together. They've been together for a while. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, the wife's at home and she gets served with divorce papers. Yeah. At that point, doesn't know, still lives with the husband, just like out of nowhere, like, where does this come into play? Right. Um, you know, at that point, after going through lawyers and all this stuff, spending a whole bunch of their money together because. <laughs> yeah. They, they're their married. money. <laughs> it's their money, right? 
So it's coming out of there. You know, the, the spouse decides, hey, listen, you know, after all this trouble, after all this money, maybe everything's going to be okay and we'll go back to it. Mm. Well, at that point, the wife's like, hey, listen, I've already went through all these problems. You've you know, taken all our money and used it to these attorneys and stuff like that. Like now I'm okay by myself. I don't, I don't want to go back to that. Now mm-hmm. I've seen other things that maybe open my eyes, you know, and at that point that dude's like, womp, womp, womp. Like, you know, you, you messed up a good thing, dude. You did have a good thing. And then you forget. Look, sometimes you don't know you have a good thing until it's gone. Right. right. A lot of people, we say that all the time, you know, you don't know yeah. what a good thing is until it's gone. Right. You know, sometimes even when it comes to work. You don't know you have a good job until you leave thinking that, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. You go to the next job and maybe you maybe you made like a dollar more an hour. Right. Or two dollars more an hour. But now you're miserable or you're not happy or you're, um, you know, being overworked or, uh, you know, underappreciated. Who knows? It could be anything. But, you know, it comes to relationships, too. Same thing. You know, sometimes you just don't know you have a good thing until it's gone. Now, I wouldn't wait until it's gone because sometimes when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. (laughs) It's definitely true. You know, you don't have a choice after that. It's true. And we talk about progression, right? So it's always good to progress in life. But some things are good the way they are, okay? Like, uh, you know, the way the wheel is. Like, there's no way to make a wheel even better, right? And if you make it square, it's not going to be efficient or effective like it is round and, and circling. Right. So at that point, like, you don't want to mess up a good thing. The grass is not always greener on the other side, like Cherise said. So, you know, maybe that opportunity you think is so good or I'm missing out on is not the best thing for you. I mean, we do see it. We see it in jobs. And we see it a lot in relationships. And Mm -hmm. uh, another big thing of where these people see this is that is in social media, right? You got people sliding other people's DMs, making comments on posts. You know, it's just, it's it's a false hype. It's a false hope in most circumstances. That's a lot too, though. Because, I mean, let's not, let's be realistic here, guys. You know, I call it as I see it. Half the things you see on social media isn't real. Yeah. It's super not real. Right. It's either, it's not real. Let's just say it's not real, you know, or they show up and you're like, oh, nice to meet you. And they're like, oh, I'm so-and-so. I'm like, really? Could have fooled me. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of posing on there, <laughs> posers, right? Um, you know, people face tuning and stuff like that, filters and all different types of things. But like, you know, I mean, people get that false hope of like, oh, like all these people love me. They're all writing my DMs. Oh, they all want to do this for me. Like, that's false hope. Like even guys, like, you know, you, you might get DMs from girls and stuff like that. Those girls might not be girls. They might be guys catfishing <laughs> you. You never know. So you don't know. You know you or don't, you might even look on like, even like a feed, right? And you're looking at somebody else's relationship. And let's yeah. just say they're posting these phenomenal photos and everything's peachy and perfect, right? And on their story. But let's say at home, it's really not, you know, it's just something they're putting out there for the persona, you know? Yep. So it's, it's not And that always... doesn't apply to us, guys. No. What you see is what you get. Listen. All the time. I already been through it with him, okay? <laughs> the whole first, at least. That's five, why we're here. The whole first five years, okay? Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Lots of tears. <laughs> Fights, okay? We're normal, kind of, you know? Yeah. We've been through it. It's just we've been through it. We know each other very well. We know what makes each other tick. We know what not to do. The you know, problems, yeah. you know, you kind of learn your significant other, and if you love them enough, you'll adapt to what they need, what they want, and what not to say and what not to do. Um, you'll just learn, you yeah. know. So over time, we've learned each other. You know, he Absolutely. knows my stuff that makes me mad, and <laughs> you know, I know his stuff that makes him mad, or you know, what it makes him happy. So. You know, whatever whatever makes your significant other happy, you know, just don't always think that you can see something and it's always greener on the other side because yeah. it's not. And don't always compare yourself to other people. Right. That's, a, that's another big thing out there. Not know? apples to apples. You think this person's doing all these things. Like, I want to be this person. You should be concentrating on what you can do for yourself because mm-hmm. even if you want that, it might never ever come. You know, so what can you do better for your relationship or yourself right. to make things better? How can you improve yourself? or improve your relationship to maybe get to that level. Like, that's okay. Like, you know, when you start, it's not like that. You don't automatically get all the years, all the experience, no. all the trials and tribulations, go the good memories, <laughs> the bad memories. Like, this is something you earn. These are badges you earn over time and the stripes because you've been through it. You, you've been through those times. You've been through those wars. Um, and you come out stronger. You come out, you know, victorious. Like, yes, you know. 
Yep. And you really, you, you might not even think that, but when you get back to thinking with your partner, oh man, look at all the different things I've been through or we've been through, and look where we've come. And that's when it's, bam, you're like, oh my, this is a blessing, right? Um, because you have all these different experiences. And like I said, good goes with bad. It does go with Just as long as there's more good experiences than bad experiences, you're going to be good. You, know, it always you need outweighs. the bad to make it good. You gotta go. You gotta go through that that struggle. You know, and, and I'm not even talking about like a financial struggle. Yeah. I'm talking about like sometimes the emotional struggle. Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta go through that. I'm telling you, I promise. It's not if it's all peaches like that. Something's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> nothing is <laughs> something perfect. is wrong yeah. if it's not like that. You know, so it's you gotta go through it. You gotta go through it. And once you go through it, I think you know you'll earn your badges and respect each other. Absolutely, all relationships. No matter what they are, business or love, um, dedication and hard work always come out true. Like you got to put in the work to get what you want. Um, that's that's just the truth. I mean, it's a hard, cold fact that people don't want to do these days. They want instant gratification. They want instant relationships. They want you know these different things, and it's just it's not going to happen. So don't. Always think the grass is greener on the other side. Yep, those guys out there, you guys with the five wives, it's not that fun. Fertilize your own grass <laughs> on your side and make it grow better and stronger, okay? So, you know, you're on your side of the fence and everything's going great. Like, all right, you're looking over and say, oh, that's good. You guys are doing good over there. We're doing awesome over John's here. John's a good gardener. <laughs> Got that green thumb, right? Dang. All right, so, <laughs> for, for yeah, or gold thumb, all right? Gold thumb for the money. Oh, I like yeah. to make money. I like to, you know, I like to grow. I like things. both of his thumbs. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just one you know, tip we can tell you guys, you know, that it's going to be very beneficial to you guys, whether you're a male or female in all different aspects of life. Don't mess up a good thing. And if you don't know if you have a good thing, you better check yourself and look and say, look what I have and be grateful for what you have in that time because everything can be gone Snap of fingers. Snap of the fingers. So, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this is another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. Or if you want to check out all the other episodes, go to our YouTube page. It's Titan Medical Center. Just type it in. Hit the all notifications, the subscription, the bell, so you guys get all the updates and all our great videos. So, I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you guys next week. See you then.